Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here back with another update overview for The Sims 4. This one is for October 2020, which comes with some Hispanic themed content that encompasses some clothing, a tattoo, some new music, some new food, and of course some new objects. And this is the update where we're supposed to be getting some fixed skin tones. The new ones and the sliders, those are not coming until December. But today, there are supposed to be fixed skin tones. So we will be going into those skin tones first, and then we'll go over the rest of the stuff. There are also some bug fixes. I will leave the link to the patch notes in the video description below. There's some good bug fixes, but there's still some big ones that have still not been fixed. With the skin tones, I'm very disappointed in this. I thought they were going to be fixed, but they don't look like they were changed much at all, really. I think there might be a couple of skin tones where they look just a tiny bit different. I tried to sync up these two clips the best I could, so if they do look pretty different at first, just give it a second, but yeah, <laughs> it doesn't remove any of the blotches, unfortunately. We will see those closer up in a minute. Also, video compression is not working in my favor, so by the time this video is uploaded, it might be even harder to see the differences, but it definitely is obvious in-game. So, yeah, I am comparing the same two skin tones here, just rotating around, where, especially around the mouth, it's almost like as if there's some sort of mask, a triangular-shaped mask between the upper lip and the nose where the skin is a different color from the rest and it is really odd looking. Also, especially towards the right side of the upper lip just above it, there's some red blotches which also don't look great. So I don't know what happened here. Hopefully this boosted saturation edit can help make it more obvious if the raw shots didn't do that. Maybe it'll be fixed in December, but I am not getting my hopes up for that. It just makes it harder to trust the Sims team and whatever they say if they say that they're going to fix something on this date and it's still not fixed. Alright, so let's go through the rest of the new stuff in Create a Sim. So there were two base game hairstyles that were updated. The first one you can see right here, and Going off of memory, this looks a lot better than it used to. Unfortunately, I don't have any old pictures of this hair, but from what I remember, it used to look blockier, for the lack of a better description, especially around the top, but now I think this one is a lot better. <laughs> I never used the original version of the hairstyle. I remember uh, one of the townies in my save file walking around with it, but I never personally put it on any of my sims. But now, yeah, I, I actually like it. <laughs> and a nice touch with the baby hairs up here. And the other one is an afro. Unfortunately, not the one I was hoping for. I completely forgot about this medium afro. So, uh, from what I've been told, the hairline was changed, because I don't think the texture looks any different from what I remember of this one. But still, I, I can't say I'm a fan of it. I, I feel like maybe this one just needs to be completely redone. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I still just don't like it. But here it is. Alright, so then we do have a few new um, clothing items. So, we have this jersey right here. Um, yeah, it does come in a bunch of different swatches. Unfortunately, though, this one is recolored from a Get Famous item. But you don't need Get Famous for this one to appear in your game. This one is a completely separate catalog item. But there are all of the swatches. And then, let's go over back to the other outfit. Oh, whoops, I actually changed <laughs> the that one to um, have the same one, but there we go. So we have this jacket. This one's also recolored from Get Famous. I do like the designs that are put onto these. It's just, I wish they used a new mesh instead of recoloring an old one. 
And especially with it being a recolor of a paid DLC item, that just makes it even worse. But there you go. There's all the swatches for that one. There is also the jersey that's available for children. Or sorry, not the jersey, it's just a t-shirt. <laughs> but um, yeah, here are all the swatches for this one. It's another, it's a fairly basic looking item. I don't know for sure if this is a recolor. I thought it was a recolor of a different one that I looked at earlier, but no, it was still slightly different. But yeah, designs once again, I think are cool, but not really just a fan of it being a similar or a recycled mesh. But my favorite part of the creative some items other than that updated braided hair that I really like is the new tattoo. And we'll actually go to Alec here because it's a lot easier to see on her lighter skin tone. Oh, wait, no. Well, I have to go into the tattoos. There we go. <laughs> I don't use tattoos that often. But yeah, there it is. It only comes in the one swatch. So unfortunately, I couldn't just use a different swatch to make it show up on Anya better. You might have noticed it on Anya earlier. But uh, let me just find the... I don't know why they don't have filters for tattoos. Yeah, okay, there it is. It's harder to see because I'm always expecting to see a freezer bunny in the thumbnail. You can kind of see half of it, but it's still really difficult for me to see. But yeah, I still like the design of that tattoo. But yeah, I just figured show it on a lighter skin tone than Anya because harder to see, harder to see. But that's it for the new Create a Sim stuff. So I will be right back and I'll show you all the new objects and the food and the new music. Alright, so I've just done a very quick setup here, <laughs> nothing spectacular, but just to show off these objects. And for the most part, I'm actually really liking what I'm seeing here. So we'll start off with these gorgeous murals, if the uh, build will just do its thing here. <laughs> Alright, so I did already place all three of the swatches out here, but I think all three of them Pretty great. I mean, I like the one in the middle, but I'm biased towards birds, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I think they did a really great job on these. I'll try and see if maybe I could place them in Del Sol Valley. I'm particularly thinking about the alleyway in Mirage Park. If that ends up being successful, then I guess I'll tweet a picture. But um, yeah, I think those look great. Uh, the wallpaper is base game, so don't mind that. Uh, and then we got this pot over here, and it comes in a pretty decent variety of swatches. Though I wish they did come in a completely plain black white swatches, but as far as the art goes, I think they're really good. Yeah, there's even this parrot right here. Loving that. And yeah, some very flowery ones. Then we'll go to this uh, pergola here. I, I only just learned the term the other day from when it was mentioned in the live stream. But here are all the different colors for this one. I think this one looks great. I can't wait to use this somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where yet, but somewhere. Hopefully I can fit it in. Uh, and then we have this new grill, which I really like as well. Not too many swatches with this one, though at least there is the white swatches. It's not, they're not plain, but yeah, there's, there's, there's a few swatches. Wish there were more, but as far as the design of it goes, I really like this one. This might be one of my favorite grills in the game, actually. By the way, this table is from Jungle Adventure. This is not new. I just put all the new recipes from the update here because there weren't enough slots on the new table to fit them all. <laughs> but speaking of the actual new table, it's this one right here. We'll go through all the different swatches. What I do find odd is that the table has a plain white swatch and a plain black swatch. So I don't know why, especially for the chairs, there are not any. You would think, okay, maybe, but no, they still have the flowers on them for these ones at the end here. But I do like the designs of them still. Especially with the chair, it does remind me of the, um, the fabulous... Fiesta set from the Sims 3 store that came with that <laughs> deep fryer, if you remember that. Um, but yeah, the so chairs and the table. Okay, so yeah, that's 
it for the object. So let's talk about the new food. I think they put the most effort into this because, wow. <laughs> they actually look really, really good in my opinion. And they look fairly unique too. I think the pinchos might be pretty similar to another recipe with skewers, but then I guess it's just that in real life they would also probably look very similar. But otherwise, I think they do look pretty unique. I think they they all look really great. So we have the chimney right here. This one I totally thought was going to be a recolor of the base game hamburger, but no. <laughs> yeah, so there are different descriptions for each one. This one is from the Dominican Republic, apparently. I, there, I don't have the time to read each and every description, but you can pause the video if you want, if you do want to go over those. And then we have the elote here, and the grilled plantains, which are vegetarian safe. We have the asado, and this one is the chicken chimichurri skewers. And um, I will briefly mention the object description of this one because it starts off with an Infinity War reference. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. <laughs> yeah, I, I approve. <laughs> um, and yeah, there's the pinchos, as I mentioned before. There's the churro pan. I think these look really good. I I don't think, no, I haven't had any of these recipes before. Admittedly, I am not that immersed in Hispanic culture, but yeah, I, I, I like the look of these <laughs> already just by looking at them in The Sims. And then last but not least, we have the Polo a la Braza. It's most countries known as Peruvian rotisserie chicken. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, that's um, that's basically it. So I have heard from members of the Hispanic community that with the objects and the clothing, they are um, mostly focused on Mexico, which is disappointing. So yeah, because I know they said on the stream that they can't possibly represent every single person, like every single culture, but they did say that they wanted to encompass more than one culture in this, so it seems like they have fallen short here. But personally, I do think that these objects look great. I mean, like, as I said earlier, I would really would have liked for there to be black and white swatches for all the objects, not just the table. But uh, I almost forgot, there are two new songs. I think they're next to each other. Oh yeah, here they are. Yeah, they are right next to each other under the existing pop station. So there's Chocolate by Isabella Merced and A La Buena by the Domino Saints. I'm not gonna actually play them because, you know, copyright issues and all that with YouTube. But uh, from what I heard of them on the stream, they do sound pretty good. So no complaints about that. So overall, this is definitely the definition of a mixed bag because I think the objects and the recipes are overall really great, but with the Create a Sim, it really falls apart with recycled meshes, the skin tones that were promised to be fixed. I know we're supposed to be getting the new ones in December, not now, but they promised that for today, the existing skin tones would be fixed. They are not, and that is absolutely horrible. So I don't know what happened there, Maybe by December they will actually fix them, but especially with what's happened today, I can't say I'm getting my hopes up for that. And it does make me worried about what is going to happen with the new skin tones in December. How many of those are going to be blotchy too if they don't fix them? I don't know. At least the sliders will at least add more customization in December, but I don't think those will make the blotches go away. So I will leave the link to the patch notes in the video description below. There are some good bug fixes, but they did not fix the freelancer career. So if you're using the mod to fix that, hold on to it. <laughs> and uh, if I remember, I will link to that mod in the video description below if you don't already have that. And there's definitely still some glitches with eco lifestyle they haven't fixed. The eco footprint's still broken and um, there's, I think, one or two other things, but apparently now with, like, the excessively 
baking cakes. Like, that is supposed to be fixed now. <laughs> but uh, I haven't played, I haven't, like, actually played yet since installing the update, so... I guess, I guess we shall see in due time, but of course you can let me know in the comment section below if you've still run into that issue or any other issues. <laughs> but yeah, I will wrap up this video here. So be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with my latest content from The Sims, Paralives, Sock the Hedgehog, and more. So I will talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. And now I'm, I'm really hungry. Whoa! You grab that plate from quite far away, that's interesting. Oh yeah, actually one thing they apparently fixed too in this update is that uh, they're supposed to really like sit down at a table now <laughs> when they get food. Oh.